guys, welcome back. We're going to do another art from home lesson. This is normally what we do for the fifth grade class. And we have a couple printable bunnies on our webpage, but it can really be any bunny. Maybe even from a coloring book or you can draw your own. This just makes it go a little bit faster for our video. So when you guys were fourth graders, we made a funky Easter bunny using lots and lots of lines. And we talked about contour lines and then geometric lines. So in the fourth grade, you guys were trying to make the bunny look like it actually had the contours of its face. Now in the fifth grade, we're gonna take the idea of geometric shapes and turn that into our bunny. So we're gonna use a ruler and some markers, any fun colors you want. And we're gonna turn a realistic looking bunny into a geometric bunny by using only straight lines. And that's why the rulers are important. You guys ready? All right, so one choice is flip your bunny over and you can kind of see the outline from the backside or you can leave the bunny prints on the top. And what we're gonna do is take our rulers and anywhere that we can, we're gonna turn a curve line into straight lines. So what I'm gonna do is take like the bunny's ear and instead of it just going up and having a rounded point, it's gonna to have to come up with straight lines and then it's gonna cross with another straight line. So I'll show you with my ruler real quick here and then you guys can get started also. So every time I draw a line, I'm gonna use the ruler and I'm gonna trace my lines with a marker. So in the art classroom, we would have used some of our um, light boards so that the kiddos could trace using a light board. But to be able to do it from home, you guys can just print these out or like I said, draw your own little bunny as well. So the fun part about this is we wanna do the outline to start with. So I'm just going to use one color of marker and I'm going to go around my bunny using straight lines. You could. So Colt's question was, could he outline the bunny and then flip it over so he could see it? That would be a great way to do it at home. I'm not going to do it that way on the video just because it'll take a long time, but you could take a dark colored marker like a brown or a black, um, outline your bunny on the front and then if you flipped it over, you would have that line darker to be able to see. So you also can do this without a marker. So I'm gonna go through and just draw some really nice straight lines around the shape of the outside of my bunny here. So the goal is to give it an outline and make it look geometric. We're not gonna have any rounded lines. Now all of our lines are straight lines. They're rigid, they're diagonals, sorry, at different degrees. And some of them are vertical, some of them are horizontal. So every line we do today is gonna be a straight line to make this geometric project. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and pause this so that we can get our entire bunny outlined and we'll be right back. All right guys, so we have our bunnies all the way outlined. You can show yours off real quick, just hold them up. Oh, yeah. So we've got straight lines. Good job. All right, straight lines going all the way around our bunny. So we took something that was rounded and curved and it now has rigid straight lines. So to fill in our bunny, we're gonna take our rulers again and now you can use different colors of markers. We're still only gonna use line. So, and we're only using straight lines. So I'm gonna take my ruler across my bunny and now I get to do it more in a free form way. I'm not outlining the shape anymore. Now I'm gonna create lines inside of his body. So I might do one diagonal that goes all the way across, but I don't wanna just make a big spider web all the way across everywhere. I wanna change it up and make some small lines also. So I'm gonna pick another spot. So you can see I have a long line and I have a small line, a short line. Yep, that's fine. You can also keep changing your colors out. So since it's an Easter bunny, I'm gonna do lots of light colors, Easter colors, and I'm gonna change my lines and my colors 
as I work through my bunny's body. Down by his feet, I'm going to make really small lines because just like how we have bones inside of our hands and feet to allow them to move, the bunny would too. So I'm going to think on big spaces. So on the face, I'm going to think just like how we would have planes where our bones are underneath. And I'm going to put different lines in for that. Or if you have a joint somewhere where something can move, I'm going to think about that when I place my lines. So, but you can do some of them totally free form as well. It just looks really neat. And our main focus is the element of line. Just like we did last year in the fourth grade, we focused on making our, just using the element of line. And that's our goal for today as well. We're just using geometric shapes or line to create our Easter Bunny. All right, so we're going to work with our ruler for a second. I'll get this little guy all finished up, and we'll hop right back. That was a bad pun, wasn't it? Hop like a bunny. They don't like it either. All right, we'll be back in one second. All right, guys, so we took some time with our ruler, and we added our interior lines to the bunnies. So you can see they're still all straight lines, diagonals, horizontals, and verticals. Can you guys show off your bunny? And the goal is, okay. I think I added too much lines and it can't move. All right, so the goal was to take a fluffy icon, right? The Easter bunny, an image that we would normally draw with lots of rounded lines and turn it into something geometric using straight, rigid lines. All right, you guys, I hope you have fun. If you make this at home, I'd love to see it on our Facebook page. Thanks. Bye. Bye.